Oh, oh man. Oh, the Krang really put it to us this time. Oh, oh, ouch, Leo. That really hurt. Oh man. Oh, oh, oh. Why did I wear my Halloween costumes? Oh, ah. Oh. I love being a turtle. Ow, Mikey. Donnie, you gotta do something. We can't take on all these villains all the time. Uh, what would you like me to do, Leo? Please, build something that can attack all these bad guys. Uh, all right, I'll get right to work. Going backwards, here is the giant 13 inch tall Ninja Control Leonardo in his package as he would appear on store shelves. This large turtle has 40 phrases and sound effects and does quite the many tricks. On the back of the box we have an image of Leo in action performing some of his amazing moves. We have an easy to use fully functional remote control that features forward and backwards ninja spinning and left and right action. Plus we have three pre-programmed battle moves. And from the excitement level of this small boy, this toy cannot be underplayed. Out of the package we have Ninja Control Leonardo, and he is sizing up to be about, hey, over 13 inches tall, bonus. The toy supplies the batteries for Leonardo's main core body, but you're going to have to get three double triple A's to fit into this remote to get him to activate. To turn Leo on, we have three switch parts. We have what he was in package, try me. Right now he is off, and we are going to turn Leonardo on. It's turtle time! <laughs> It's all about that rim shot. That is hilarious. Anyhow, whoa, Leonardo. Anyhow, here he is on stage and we are going to try a couple maneuvers. Let's try to get- Leo, look out for the foot plan. Yes, Leo, that is good. Leo, uh -huh. we are going to try to make Leo move a little bit forward. Here we go, both sticks on the control pad forward. Oh goodness. There is a slight delay in the, Leo. There is a slight delay in the remote, but it still functions pretty good. Let's get him backwards again. There we go. Get back. Thanks, Leo. Anyhow, let's try maybe a move to a certain Leo. I don't remember him being this gaseous on the show. Okay, let's let's try turning him. Now I can get on with that. 360 degrees of turtle power. Let's try the other direction. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that was really close. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get Landry. So yeah, there's some practicing with this guy, but he's quite fun. Lots of gas though. Okay, back to center stage. A quick guide on what's going on here. Leo's got two wheels on the bottom of his feet. Leo! Anyhow, with the controller, if you were to say push both of these levers forward, both wheels would move him forward, and same with reverse. Then if you were to do a little bit one up, one down, he would do a fast turn left or right. And though, if you do just one down, he does it a little slower because only one wheel is working. I should add though, this table surface is a little catchy, so he doesn't glide as much as he would, say, on a nice, smooth tile surface. Back to center stage again, really quick looking at his weapon accessories, the katana swords. 
they are removable, and they fit nicely into his hands so he won't drop them. So that's a good plus. Let's push the crane. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> you know, Leo, I would expect that from Mikey. We have three pre-programmed battle moves on the remote, these three buttons down here. Let's give one a shot, hopefully he won't fly off my table. I think Leo fell asleep. It's turtle time! If he does fall asleep, press that button on his belt. Alright, let's test one of these buttons again. I will admit, I was in fear. Donnie, you have certainly outdone yourself this time. A giant Leonardo, fully functional and ready to kick the foot's butt. Yes, I do say so. I'm very proud. Soon we will be Calabunga dudes. So overall, a pretty fun and functioning ninja controlled Leonardo. The controls are mostly for moving him around. It would have been really, really cool had we had an extra button feature for just moving his arms up and down for slicing and dicing. That appears to just work on its own as he's moving around and saying cool things. It's still a lot of fun though. And it would also be really great if we had, say, a shredder or other villain of this size that we could interact and fight with. All right, shredder, I'm tired of your antics. Be ready to be wiped out. <laughs> what do you think you're going to do? Build a giant ninja-controlled Leonardo and take us all out? That's exactly what I'm gonna do, Shredder. Hold steady, men. He's clearly joking. <laughs> ah, what's going on? <laughs> I am Rhinoceros! <laughs> Oh. Ouch! Ah! That is your ninja controlled Leonardo figure, 13 inches of Leonardo mayhem. This toy is pretty fun and entertaining to play around and beat stuff up with. I think part of the foot is still reeling. Find this toy today, fall 2015. That's what I have to say about that. Catch you later! <coughs> Squirrel Abunga. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like share subscribe let's see here if i use some of metalhead's pieces i could really make leonardo a great toy 
just need to function these fists a little more here. And I totally think that sh party on. Oh, Mikey! 